is Jane Holmes. Hello, Jane. Good morning, Neil. And good morning, Katrina and Amy. From Wagga and... Aubrey. Aubrey. Good morning. Hello. It is Wagga, isn't it? Not Wagga Wagga. It is Wagga Wagga. No, but you don't. No, I don't Wagga. call it. I call it Wagga. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Taylor told me that once. <laughs> He's a Wagga boy. He is. And Wayne Carey. Yes. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> the block, Jane. Again, it continues its triumphant journey towards the finishing post. 1.3 million viewers making it number one in Australia last night. Melbourne has consistently been the strongest rating city for the block. Uh, there was a big Made in Melbourne campaign, which I didn't think would have an effect, but I think we've just embraced the block and the eight people who have made it happen on camera entirely. On Sunday night, we'll see the resolution, and I would anticipate more than two million people tuning in to see that two-hour show. So, Amy, how do we reach resolution? What happens? Um, with the final block, yeah, well, the properties will be auctioned and the we all take home our profit, so the reserves will be set and whatever we make above that we take home and whoever makes the most profit wins an extra 100 grand on top of that. So there's a lot of money up for grabs. We could win nothing yeah. or we could go home with bucket loads. Are you able to say what the reserve is yet? We've what? got no idea about the reserves no. yet. That is to the last minute. So we're in suspense like everybody else. So when's the auction? The auction is actually being held tomorrow night and will uh, go to air on Sunday. Okay, so uh, and, and you don't set the reserve? No. I sorry. wish we did. <laughs> <laughs> They've been set and they're secretly hidden away somewhere. Well, I've got a plan here. Good. Why don't we get somebody to go and bid for your property at a, at a ridiculous level? Yes. And then you get the profits and we'll pick up the 100 grand and split the difference. That's right. Let's do happy. it. That's criminal. Let's do it. It is. We're happy fraud. to do that. That's total fraud. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for somebody to offer that. <laughs> I think your plane's going to fall down because it is a private auction, isn't it, yeah. on, uh, at the Richmond Town Hall. So it's unlike your lives for the last three months, not open to the public. You have to uh, um, express interest to become a bidder on the night. You do. So, Neil, you might I'm interested. Try. I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very no, public it's total fraud. We never do anything. Why, why the hell have you done this? Oh, well, we've always loved the show and um, we, we're addicted to houses and we love all that sort of thing. And we just went, let's go on the show. And next thing you know, it's on six nights a week and it's gone crazy and it's out of control. But we were loving the ride. How long have you been away from the kids? Well, we were on the block for nine weeks. Um, so that was a long stint for us and then we've been home now for about 10 weeks and doing a lot of publicity which is all the fun stuff, all the icing on the cake for us. How old are the children between you? Um, yeah. I've got three boys, nine, six and five. Oh gee, that's a good reason to be away isn't it? <laughs> three boys? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Lucky they love their dad like crazy, so it was easier to leave. And I've got two children, I've got a girl that's almost four and a little boy that's two. But there were some fairly harrowing scenes on the block when the kids came down to visit you and had to be taken away again. Mm. I think it tugged at everyone's heartstrings. How did you cope mm. with that? Well, it was pretty emotional. Yeah. It was hard because they're our people, they're our lives, and um, we're away from them. But, you know, we got through it. We went home and everyone was, you know, no, no damage was done. <laughs> <laughs> this... Did you have people following you around and wanting autographs and things? A bit weird? Oh, it's very strange. We've had a couple of open houses with about 30,000 people turn up. And as soon as Katrina and I walked outside, people were just screaming our names. And I said to Katrina, I felt like we needed to have an actual talent. Like they actually wanted us to do something. <laughs> this is the rock star syndrome. Yeah. You don't need talent, but you do have talent, actually. You've been just... part of our family for mm. nine weeks mm. now. You've been in our lounge room every night. Mm. That actually makes us more familiar with you than you would ever imagine. Yeah. I think that's hard for us to grasp as well. We just don't, we haven't sort of thought about that side of it at the moment. We're just so busy with everything we've, we're doing. But Katrina, TV is a weird thing, isn't it? I mean, you, the way things get set up and you've got cameras and lights and it, it's all very uh, unusual for somebody who hasn't had much to do with it before. Have you found it a bit... Well, we've learnt a lot. Did they naturally or did, yeah. did they stop and say, I'll screw that in again or something? Um, a bit of both, really. <laughs> so it was um, a really big learning curve for us and even in our first night when we were panicking about the project ahead um you know you've got camera crew and sound people following your every move but um we, we started to become friends with them and it's like a little family because they're with you from 6 a.m till 10 o'clock at night and it got easier and we learned a lot and we really did love it <laughs> thank you amy katrina from the block and jane thank you